Hey guys, guess what? I got a dog. <laughs> we are about to head back out into the van and I have a few big announcements. This is Bella. She is uh, three to five years old. She is a toy Maltese or Malti Poo, I'm not quite sure. She's a rescue. She was a breeder. But she's all fixed now and doesn't have to do that anymore, huh, Bella? Very sweet dog. He's only like five pounds. She's going to look like a puppy forever, which is awesome. So we have been here in Florida in this guest house, Doug's brother's and sister-in-law's guest house, for the last four months. Uh, we're going to be leaving soon, though. I'll tell you more about that later in the video. So how Bella came about was Doug's brother's wife fosters dogs for Florida Poodle and Rescue. And uh, they already have five dogs, so I said I'd help out and they could stay in the guest house with there was two of them to start with, that they could stay in the guest house with us. So Belle and I ended up getting very, very attached, and she is was a breeder dog. So she basically lived in a cage most of her life, didn't have, you know, a person or anything. But now she's all fixed, and her and I just fell in love, and everything changed since then. So everything revolves around what's best for her. We have been having a lot of fun with her, and she is such a good dog. She's changed so much. She's really come out of her shell, and she's so happy to have a person that loves her and a family and cousin dogs and everything. She still can be a little, uh, you know, a little anxious at times. She just wants me all the time. She literally would just let me hold her all day, every day, if I could. She just wants to be near me. She loves Doug too, but she's a little weird. She, you know, if he's if we're in bed together and she's with us, she's fine with him. But then she won't always go to him, so he's he's working on that. And he's he's very patient and kind with her. She is about they think about three to five years old. She's a toy Maltese or Malti Poo. She looks more Maltese than than Poo, but. <laughs> um, you know, they don't really have any information on her. It's just they hand them over. The breeders hand them over, and that's it. And they usually have, like, a lot of medical problems. Some are, like, they're not always abused, but some are very neglected. Or just they don't know what, you know, human love is, really. So she is enjoying this and enjoying having a family. And we are enjoying having fun with her. She's learned to walk and play and love. And she's honestly quite spoiled. She gets organic food and uh, she's a big baby now. She's just, she's such a loving, sweet dog. She's kind of a one person dog. She's kind of just wants me, but I'm hoping, you know, more exposure. She'll get used to other people. Sometimes these little dogs, they tend to just be one person dogs or they prefer women to men. Uh, hopefully she'll get over that. So that's my biggest announcement, I would say. Well, I don't know if it's the biggest. My announcement is that I've created uh, a few e-commerce sites. Um, I'll talk about each one real quick. Some are quick, but the main, the main thing that I came up with, the main thing that I created was a site. It's called letslivedifferently.com. And we've created some t-shirts and merchandise and also a... I created this van life planner template. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I love charts and lists and graphs and all that type of stuff. So whenever I've done a van build or any vehicle build, I've, I've planned it out and everything. So I've just created a template for others to use to help them with their build and their from shopping to a vehicle to budgeting their trips and everything. I'll show you that. Let me show you the t-shirt. So Doug came up with this, take your life to go. And I came up with the van leaving a house that's sold. So this is the t-shirt. It's easier to show you here than wearing it with my boobs. It makes it all distorted. But um, So we're selling this design on a bunch of other items like cell phone cases and water bottles. and But mainly t-shirts and tank tops and stuff like that. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Uh, 
we made it a teeny bit smaller. This takes up a little bit too much room in the t-shirt, so I have made them a little bit more compact, so it'll look a teeny bit different than this, but you'll see on the website. This is the template that I made. It's called a Van Life Planner template. It's a 49-page comprehensive start-to-finish fill-in-the-blank guide that covers from shopping for a vehicle, the conversion, planning your trips, budgeting, and much more. So I'll let you read all this if you want to pause the video. This just has everything I could think of as far as uh, there's a table of contents and instructions. So this is the first thing you'll come to is vehicle shopping. When you're looking at vehicles on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, you need a way of uh, writing down the information and keeping track of who you talk to and when, whether you just left them a voicemail, if you're waiting for them to call you back, and et cetera, et cetera. So that's what this is. Each, there's three in each, three sections here. And you just, you'll print these out in multiple copies if you, I'm sure you're going to be looking at more than three vans. So if you can fill out the name of the vehicle, the price, and where you saw it, the fuel type, all that type of information. I'll zoom in here. So that's the shop for vehicle. And then there's a chart here about which type of vehicle to choose. So it has different types on it. And then a vehicle comparison chart. You'll write down the different vehicles you're considering buying instructions there and all the the pertinent information just so you can compare and contrast and then there's a van layout and furniture design this is just how like I have mine laid out this is a sample and there's a sample of uh, how you might draw out your furniture and this is a say the main part is the list of needs and wants by system so I go through every system in your vehicle power insulation and it just is a series of questions to ask yourself so you know how you want to set your vehicle up. You know, be just if you click on the link, you'll be able to look at it each page. Uh, you'll see each page displayed in the mock-up. And they have a, about budget. And each system has a budget and... Then a product comparison chart, to-do list this week, there's a master to-do list. Like I say, there's 49 pages, so to do before your trip, so there's like an itinerary in here. And here's a my nomadic budget after you're all said and done, and you can fill this out so you can keep track of your budget while you're traveling. And I thought this was a good idea when I'm... When I'm traveling and this is, I'm hanging out in a certain area, I want to know places to sleep. So here's some things you can write down, a place addresses and information about places to sleep. And then places to hang out during the day where they have shade or not or a restroom and stuff like that. If you're interested, go ahead and uh, just follow the link, letslivedifferently.com. It'll be in the description and you can get a better look at it online on the, on the website. And then you'll see the other products that we have for sale. I hope you like the template. I really worked hard on it. It took me months to do. I'm selling it for $9.99. I think it's a good deal. I think you'll get your money's worth. Like I say, it's a printable. So you it's not a digital thing. You just download it. And then you want to print it out in order to use it. Because I think it's kind of... Like if you're building a van, you need something, a hard copy that you can write on and look at. You're not going to want to bring your laptop and your, or your iPad out there to the van and, you know, you know, be switching pages. This way you can spread it out if you need to. So I just uh, thought the printable was the best way to go. So here's just a glimpse of what the website looks like. This is the Let's Live Differently website. T-shirts and mugs and tote bags and stuff. So besides that, I started a to dabble in a little bit of drop shipping. So I'm selling this uh, dog toy right here, poochplaymate.com. It's this cool dog toy with a suction cup and it, you can put food in it. And there's also one more product on here, which is actually pretty cool. I just ordered this for Bella. It's a little uh, bottle that you can... Uh, it's got a bowl at the end, so you just press a button and the water goes into the bowl so the dog can drink out of it. 
That's pretty good for van dwelling. And the other site I have is something, it's called waywardgnomes.com. It's these small little six inch high gnomes that are naughty gnomes and they're doing different things they shouldn't be. They've got guns and they've got uh, giving people the bird and there's some naked, naked ones here and uh, someone, uh, one of them is peeing. I just thought they were cute. So I'm also selling those on uh, waywardgnomes.com. So I also, just to diversify a little bit, I started an Etsy shop uh, for funny t-shirts. We had some funny t-shirt ideas and uh, looks them up and everything. And we just uh, designed, had them had these designs made. So my Etsy shop is called Boomer Creations US because my son's always calling, making fun of us for being boomers. So in here, I just have a bunch of funny t-shirts and mugs. This one says, I can't, I'm too busy not wanting to. Uh, when life gives you melons, you might be dyslexic. And uh, 2021 with half a star, just when I thought it couldn't get any worse. And don't trust atoms, they make up everything. There's just some cute, funny t-shirts, pretty harmless. This one says, I don't abuse alcohol, I teach it a lesson. So if you want to go on Etsy and check that out, it's Boomer Creations US. And if you see a t-shirt design that you like a, a saying and you want it on a bag or a mug, just let me know and I can make that real quick. Um, I'm adding new products several times a week to the Etsy shop. So right now I've got four stores up and running. So I'm just trying to have multiple streams of income to help, you know, keep a nomadic lifestyle and just, I'd rather focus on working for myself than somebody else. So these t-shirts, by the way, are selling for $17.99. And they come in uh, several different colors. The last announcement is that Doug and I are going to get married. We don't know when or how or, you know, the details of it, but we're going to be getting married. Don't know when. <laughs> but probably, uh, well, this brings me to my next, my update now. That's all the announcements. But the update is that uh, after being here for four months, we are going to go back in the van and we're going to head back up to Mass to see everybody and hopefully to Maine. Our friends have a camp there on a lake, like just like they set up tents and stuff right on a lake. It's beautiful. Uh, we can kayak and swim, and I think Bella will have a blast with that. I got her this little this little life vest with has a shark fin on it, and she can just she can just swim in this little life vest, and I can put a leash on it, and her and I can swim together, and she can go in the kayak. She lets me do anything to her. She's so awesome. So we're going to do that. First, we're going to go up to Maine. So sep around September 1st, we're going to head up. Spend some time in Maine. Hopefully it's still warm enough to swim there in the lake and kayak. And then go back to Mass and just visit everybody that we haven't seen in a while. All my family and stuff and friends. And then I'm not sure where we're going after that. It just, it all depends on uh, if we, if Doug needs to stop and make money. If, and all that. How much money that we have and if we can keep going. Uh, we wouldn't mind, there's plenty of work down here in Florida for Doug. His... Uh, brother and sister-in-law are realtors, so they have a ton of work for him, and they've flipped a house already, and they may do that again. Who knows? So we may end up back down here. It's a beautiful area. We, we do love it here. Ella has a little stairway to get up to the bed. It took me weeks to train her to use it. She's finally getting used to it, but that won't fit in the van. But I think Bella is going to be really happy to be in the van. She just, she spends a lot of time in it now. She loves it whenever she's in it. She just, she's just like, she basically sleeps all day. She has a nice walk in the morning, a nice walk at night, and uh, she basically just lays around. Like, she's not, you know, she's like three to five years old, so she's not real energetic, but she does love her walks. And I think she'll like hiking. We, when we ride our bikes, I have this bag that I put her in that's made to carry your small dogs. So uh, she loves it. So we take her for bike rides in this bag, and if she gets too tired walking, we stick her in the bag, and we can carry her on our bodies, you know, mostly me, I carry her. <laughs> we kind of like to get maybe a basket on the, on the bikes too for her, but she does love being close to me. Well, the biggest problem we're having with the van is uh, the fridge isn't working. I have a Dometic 18 liter. Maybe you guys can help out. Um, it's been working all this time until last week I went to use it because I had groceries and this, the power light is just has a steady blink to it. 
And I know that means something, like it's not getting enough power or something, but nothing's changed. The goal zero, everything's working fine. And so I don't know what to do about that. I think I, I emailed the company, so I just don't know what that means when it's blinking like that. So hopefully I don't have to buy a new fridge. That would stink because they're expensive. And we've actually, you know, built it around that fridge. So I probably just have to get the same exact one instead of going with a cheaper version. So hopefully we get that figured out because some of Bella's food has to be refrigerated. But anyway, hopefully I'll start making more videos now that we're going to be moving around and traveling. And uh, thanks for your patience and waiting for them. And uh, please like and subscribe and check out, uh, especially the Van Life website. I think you guys would enjoy it. And check out the other things just for fun. And I'll uh, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.